Tell me, gentlemen, have you found anything exciting? He's found a purple blob. I assume it's a book. Experiments, 1885. Let us see. Hmm. Have a look at this. Be careful, there's a small key inside the folder. Noise. Cheers. 1st of August, 1865. Results at last. After many months of tedious observations, something has finally come from the other side. Okay, anyone uses the words of the other side and they're not talking about a door, an actual physical door, not a metaphysical door, is a bad person. You shouldn't do this. You're just inviting bad thing. <laughs> anyway, I heard the sounds of footsteps exploring the proximity of the stone archway. This would seem to verify my hypothesis. Absolute horror is the key that we see. No! You use the words absolute horror is the key we see. That is not a good thing. You know, it, you know what I seek? Utter death. Death and Cthulhu. And monstrous tentacles. These are the things I seek. Cosmic beings. Horror. Beyond the veil. These are all words you shouldn't find yourself using in a positive way. 20th of September. Now they have proven themselves useful. I have installed two new devices in the outer tunnels. I dare not go deeper. I have not heard it again, but I know the thing must still be down there, in the dark. Contamination in the underground tunnel has been breached. C contamination. Containment. It's blank. Gone. I have no choice but to abort the experiment. It can no longer be controlled. There is but one thing left to do. I will seal the tunnel and hope that the abomination remains forever entombed within. Alright, that's it, lads. Pack it up. Ah, we're not going to explore this, are we? Because that would be ridiculous. No, of course we're going to have a look. What? What is this supposed to be? It seems to be a log that the professor kept during his, one of his experiments almost seven years ago. It is noteworthy that one of the entries has been redacted. It said SCP in the corner. I wonder what that could mean. But what is written in that? It cannot be true. It must be some kind of hallucination. A sign of Professor Wright's illness, maybe? Perhaps... Though we should not jump to seclusions, we can conclude that the professor had another working place, underground. Perhaps that key opens the basement door. There could be a route to this underground tunnel. Meanwhile, I will keep looking through these documents. There must be something more than the folder among the mess. Okay, I'm having a quick nosy too. Piles of papers of all kinds, discarded notes, letters and receipts, all mixed up. Many folders. They have no distinctive tag on them. A long series of folders with dates on them, in complete disarray. A set of framed silhouettes. Under each is an inscribed plaque. Ooh. Mr. Strachan was a well-positioned man. He fell madly in love with the younger daughter of the Bartleys, and so he proposed to her. Young Agnes faced the idea of marrying an older man, but she always hid her feelings from her mother. Interesting, so you got to make sure they're... Mrs. Bartley did never take her eyes off her daughter and watched them all times. Mr. Bartley tried to show his support for their daughter, but his wife never paid any attention to them. Interesting. A compartment is opened in the wall. I'm not touching it. I don't know what it does yet. Yo! Found something spooky. Fine. He never cares if I find anything spooky. You're so dull, Kaufman. Fine. I'll leave you with the spooky thing I found. Exciting. That has to do something, I just don't know what yet. I haven't seen any changes anywhere, but, uh... More importantly, basement key! Yay! Spooky door time! This isn't the basement. No, I know it doesn't, but I wanted to try it anyway. Okay. Yo, uh, I'm just opening up the secret hidden basement of doom that might unleash cosmic horrors into the world. You don't mind, do you? No? Excellent. It's completely dark in here. I feel a cold draft coming from the front. It's too dark. I need something to light the way. Wow. Brave man just holding a match out. <laughs> man, this is going to end in, like, tears.
Ooh, a button. I've run out of matches. Uh oh. Guess I'll just keep going left so I can get out of here. And this, kids, is why you don't try and light spooky hallways with matches. Damn it! I ended up in some freaky. I've fallen through a hole. Where am I? The flow of air is stronger here. Oh, is that a lantern? Please say that's a lantern. A working lantern. Oh, score! Yoink. Part of the tunnel is a blocked cave in. The underground tunnel is not accessible from here. I should go back. The way is blocked. There, this is what we saw in the intro. Neat. It appears to be some kind of electrical device. Alright, well, don't bother exploring it then. Have a look over here. It's a compartment for some kind of a component of some sort of machine. Maybe I can find out where to use it. Lever. This does something down here, doesn't it? Well, I think this is the only thing down here that I haven't explored yet. So let's get out of here. Now did I fall down or was there spooky noises? Oops. And how did you get down there exactly? I was going left, sir. I was going left. This looks reasonably spooky, let's check it out. It's a, mach it's a mechanicism of some sort. This is another flippy switch. Damn it, I still have no idea what these things do. I need some sort of context for these things. There's no point randomly flicking them, I hope it does something. Just checking. The old furniture's been left here to rot. What, we're not going to steal it? If we cannot access the tunnel mentioned in Professor Wright's logs, how can we find the missing parts of his research? I must talk to Kaufman about this. Nice enough to just port me up, though. I was able to use the key to explore the basement. There is a large hole in the floor. One side of the hole may lead to some kind of tunnel. But it was completely covered in rocks and debris, so I couldn't tell for sure. Covered in debris? It sounds as if the professor succeeded in blocking the entrance to the tunnel underground area. Hmm. It was unfortunate for us. I have made some progress on my own, my friend. I think this could help us to dilucidate. Dilucidate? Dilucidate? The next step in our search. Have a look. This is a pixel. Thank you. I will have this pixel. Today, a meeting finally took place. Alright. You see, Mr. Wright... <coughs> There's another person. You see, Mr. Wright, our organisation is keenly interested in your research. We could reach an agreement to fund this project, but first, we need to know the details. I understand. The main factor is the condition of the test subject how open he is to suggestion. As you know, only the human mind can open a physical passage to the other side. So, a complete absolute darkness will be required for the experiment to result. A secluded place, completely isolated. A place that can only bring thoughts of what may be hiding in the dark. I have the perfect location in mind. But in total darkness and seclusion, how could the results of the experiment be studied or confirmed? This, that is precisely where your organization can provide help. I've designed a special device that will allow me to listen from a safe distance. But I lack the means to manufacture it myself. That we could arrange. Of course, knowing some sort of details, we could just assume that we know that already. I mean, it could be like magic, but we'll arrange it. There is one last thing I would like to know. How would the experience be triggered? By means of a chemical compound of some kind? Do you mean a serum? Not at all. That would be of no elegance whatsoever. The trigger is the mind itself, the emotion known as terror. The primal fear that still survives in the depths of our mind from the times humans were mere beasts. That which allows us to open a physical passage beyond the veil. Ah! This is like evil bingo. 
<laughs> sorry, <clears throat> beyond the veil of rational thought. Primal terror is the key that we will use to open the last door. Roll credits. No? Could this organization be the Playwright? It may be, my friend. If so, we are closer to the truth than we thought. But in this room, I have only been able to find some fragments of information, discarded material. It looks as though the main bulk of the documents were moved from this room and hidden somewhere else. The basement tunnel. As that seems the most reasonable conclusion. But access to that place is lost, is it not? The entrance was sealed. There may be another access we do not know about. If we can find and use the device Professor mentions his log, I believe we could shed some light on the matter. Well, I have a part of this thing here. So I could try the lever in the machine. I think it will work now. Oh, good. Let's try it, shall we? This sound... Do my ears deceive me? Is that a piano medley? Melody. I must seek Kaufman at once. <laughs> Kaufman! I hear things with my ears! No! Say it is not true! Not to state the obvious, but it sounds as like someone is still down there, playing the piano, of all things. Oops. Sorry, I clicked off it. Let me just... Sorry, I just stopped recording briefly because I clicked off the screen. Mm, I balked it. Not to save the obvious, but it sounds like someone is still down there, playing the piano, of all things. But how is that even remotely possible? I don't know. But this means something important to us. It means there is another entrance to the underground tunnel, and that we must find it. But we have run out of leads. You did not find anything of use in the archive, and Professor... I just realised something. I found four levers, and there's four statues out there. I wonder. Mm, anyway, and Professor Wright continues to mutter incoherently about childhood memories. You must hypnotise the Professor, my lever friend. If you are running out of options, there may be only one, that may be the only way we can find the answers we seek. I don't know, I might be shooting in the dark there, but I've found things. Look at this candle! Fix your eyes on it. Now look at me! Now look at this candle! Your body is now light as a feather. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everything around you fades. You are entering a dark, endless void. How dark? How endless? Ooh. Look at me moving the candle. That's my candle. Give it back. I want it. Oh, nice. We were going to play in hypnot Hypnotized Dream, man. Listen to my voice. Where are you? A great number of trees surround me. The sun is setting soon. I can go north and west. Oh. Go west. I am on the beach. There is a huge rock here. Many birds circle in the sky overhead. To the north I see the shore. To the west there is a person. As soon as I approach, the figure darts between the rocks as though it was frightened of me. Go north. I stand beside the shore. The water wets my shoes. All around me lie the wrecks of ships. To the north, something floats in the water. To the east, I can see the edge of the forest. A body floats in the water. I will not look upon its face. I stand beside a waterfall. It is not water that falls, but mud and rock from a great height. They fall and fall into a bottomless abyss. Behind the waterfall lies a tunnel. To the west I see the edge of the forest. Oh? I think we need to go east again then. What is east? I am in a dark tunnel. Oscar is here as well. He is upset. He yells at me. He begs me to stop. The tunnel divides in many passengers. I can go north, south and west. Let's go north. I am in a large open space with a piano. 
Something stands next to the piano. I can't see it clearly. Its face. The tunnel stretches into the dark. We walk down the tunnel. It is a very small room. In the centre lies a deep pit. A ladder goes down. It is so dark. Down there, it lies. It waits. I will not continue. I must go back. Go down the ladder. I cannot! I hear it with me, its breath. Dear God, I must flee. You must continue. It waits for me. It waits down there. I have gone down the ladder. I cannot see. It is pitch dark. I... I can feel its breath. It is here! It is with me! Wake up. Enough. We went too far, my friend. You are right. I did not think he would react this way. You did well by stopping the trance, Kaufman. I think it would be best if we leave it for today. Let us return to the inn. Reflect tonight on what we have witnessed here. Tomorrow, let's discuss the next step in our investigation. Eh, yeah, fine. January 21st, 1893.